Okay, this is our last lesson on sequence and series. This is on infinite geometric series. Okay, um, the first thing I want to just do a quick demo um, to show that it is possible to add up an infinitely large group of numbers and have it add up to something finite. Okay, so we're just going to look at this square here and I'm going to fill it in. So there's half the square and then I need to add a quarter of the square and then an eighth is going to be half of a quarter so that's there and then and so on so I'm going to fill in that half that's a sixteenth that's a thirty second that's one sixty fourth that's one one twenty eighth that's one two fifty sixth and I think it's pretty obvious if I keep doing that I keep ending up with getting smaller and smaller and smaller fractions down into this corner to the point where if I did it forever, I'd end up filling in the whole square. So that would just be one if I did it forever. Okay, let's look at our first example from the textbook. Um, notice that in B here, these sums just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Or sorry, the, the terms keep getting bigger and bigger. We're going to go 4, 8, 16. So notice that this guy's divergent. so we don't have a finite sum. Whereas in C, our fractions keep getting closer to zero as we go from term to term, so this guy's going to be convergent, which means that we will have a finite sum. And if you just keep punching these into your calculator, like go a half, minus a quarter, plus an eighth, minus a sixteenth. Um, I did it in my calculator for like the first um, I think 10 or 12 or something like that and I ended up with 0 0.33325153 and what I noticed is the more of these I punched in the more threes I got. So I'm guessing that this probably is eventually going to equal a third. That's my guess. Okay, let's see if we can use our formula from yesterday to figure out our sum from the top of the page yesterday. Or, or from the top of the page today. Top of the first page. So the top of the first page we had a half plus a quarter plus an eighth plus a sixteenth. We figured eventually the whole square is going to be filled in. So we'll end up with just one. So S infinity is going to be my first term, which is a half. And then 1 minus r to the power of n. So if I keep going on forever, I basically end up with r infinity. And because this is convergent, that means it's going to go to 0. So I'm just going to put in a 0 there for r essentially infinity. You can't actually say r infinity, but uh, you guys learn that next year in calculus. And this will be 1 minus, and what are we multiplying by every time? a half. So well, what does that give me? That gives me a half. Oops. Not negative a half, just a half. Over a half, which is a half divided by a half, which is the same as a half times 2 over 1 equals 1. So it works. So basically, if we just replace this r to the power of n with 0, because if it's convergent, it's going to approach zero. That gives us our formula for a convergent series. Okay, and I think you guys remember that values of r between one and negative one will give us a convergent series. Okay, and this down here is just showing that if we put in zero for r to the n, then we end up with this new formula here. And you'll be given that formula. Notice that this only works for co convergent series. Okay, The most common error in this is they give you a question, a divergent series, they ask you for the sum, you plug the numbers in, you give them an answer, even though there is no answer because it's divergent. Okay, so let's have a look at these guys. So our first one, so remember we can use 
um, any term divided by the term before it to find r. So we'll go negative 9 divided by 27. So we find that our r is negative a third, which means that it is convergent. So we will have a finite sum. So let's use that to find our sum. So it's going to be 27. That is a terrible 2. 27 over 1 minus negative a third. So it's going to be 27 over 4 over 3 which is this 20 minus 27 divided by 4 over 3, which equals 27 over 1 times 3 over 4 equals 81 over 4. So if I were to add all of these guys up to, infini to infinity, I would end up with 81 over 4. Okay, our next guy, r is going to equal negative 8 over 4 is going to equal negative 2. So that's divergent. So we're done. There is no finite sum. So again, notice for part b, if you didn't notice this, that this was divergent and you just threw r equals negative 2 into the formula, you would get an answer. It wouldn't mean anything, but you would get an answer. And that answer would be worth nothing because there is no finite sum. Okay, question five. We want to determine a fraction that's equal to 0.6 repeater. Okay, um, where we want to start here is we want to take this and break it into a bunch of things added together into an infinite geometric series. So I'll have 0.6 plus 0 0.06. Notice that if I multiply by 0.1, it gets me from the first term to the second term. If I multiply by 0.1 again, I get to the third term. Multiply by 0.1 again, I get to the fourth term, and so on. So my first term is going to be 0 0.6, and I'm multiplying by 0 0.1 every time. So if I do that forever, And as we already knew, 0.6 repeater is the same as 2 thirds. Um, notice that we can use the formula because r is between negative 1 and 1. So it is convergent, so we can use the formula. Okay, let's look at this example from the textbook. This guy's a little bit different. So in this one, we've got, let's just break it down the same way as we did before. So 0 0.49 repeater is going to be 0 0.4 plus 0 0.09 plus 0 0.009 plus 0 0.0009 dot dot dot. Okay, well... Oops, phone just rang. Okay. So notice that this 0.4 doesn't fit with the rest of the pattern. So we're just going to leave that on the outside. So our answer is going to be 0.4 plus this infinite series. Okay, well that for that infinite series, our first term is going to be 0 0.09 and we're going to be multiplying by 0 0.1 every time. So S infinity So that part's going to be a tenth. So 0 0.49 repeater. Oops, there we go. Let's fix this up here. 0 0.49 repeater is going to equal 0 0.4 plus a tenth. 0 0.4 is, of course, 4 over 10 plus 1 over 10. So that's going to equal 5 over 10 equals a half. And I think most of you probably knew that already. Okay, so a 0.49 repeater equals a half. Okay, so again, this only works, this formula here only works for convergent geometric series. 
If it's divergent, don't use it. It's they'll basically that's your only trick question you'll ever see on this. So if you make sure the stuff's convergent, you'll be fine.